Welcome to this breakaway crochet tutorial. This video supplements the joined 12 stitch yo-yos entry in the breakaway motif library. And I'll be going over how to crochet this swatch using breakaway crochet techniques. As I go along, I will make sure to demonstrate some key breakaway techniques, such as a type of floating stitch called a floating double crochet how to count stitches behind the hook, and my suggested way of doing a slip stitch to join the yo-yos. You may also be interested in further information that you can find on the breakawaycrochet.com website, such as the written instructions for this swatch, any currently available projects that use the 12 stitch yo-yo, and further resources covering the breakaway crochet method in general. Please see the description for links. This swatch is based on a 12 stitch yo-yo motif. It is a one round motif consisting of 12 double crochets in US terminology. When we join these together, we will be arranging them as if they were very small hexagons. Let's start with the key technique that enables us to work the yo-yos continuously. It is called a floating double crochet. And to make one of these, do a yarn over the hook, and now we make the floating ring. Do another yarn over, pinch near the hook, do another yarn over, and pinch that together with the other bit we're pinching yarn over and draw through the two pinched loops and these two little loops here are the floating ring. Let's finish this floating double crochet by using the loops that are already on the hook to make the double crochet part. To do that, just pull through two twice. And this is a floating double crochet. So we do one of these floating double crochets every time we start a new yo-yo. And we will be working all the remaining stitches of the yo-yo into the floating ring. Let's start now with the foundation row of the swatch. Begin the first yo-yo with a floating double crochet, just like I showed you before. Continue this first yo-yo with five more double crochets into the floating ring. So that gives us the equivalent of six double crochets in this first yo-yo. We are now at the breakaway point for this yo-yo, so let's break away to the next yo-yo. Start again with a floating double crochet. And five double crochets into this floating ring. There's our first two. Repeat this pattern until you have started six yo-yos. And this is how your completed foundation row should look. Let's now work the other side of these yo-yos on a return row. Continuing around the same yo-yo we ended on, work six more double crochets into its floating ring. And we now do a slip stitch between the current yo-yo and the next one. So just do a slip stitch around those connecting threads and that helps close off that last yo-yo on the end. Continue this along every yo-yo to the last one of the row. When we get to the last yo-yo, it is a little bit different. We only need to put four double crochets in this one. And this is our completed 
return row. So if we come back to our swatch, we have just worked these first six yo-yos here. And now it's time to go on to the next row, which is a joined foundation row. That means we also work the first half of each yo-yo along this row here. But as we go, we need to join the yo-yos in. So let's start with the first yo-yo of this joined foundation row. Again, we have a floating double crochet. And we just need, for this yo-yo in particular, just one more double crochet, because now we are at the breakaway point to go to the next yo-yo. So go ahead and start the second yo-yo, again with a floating double crochet. And again, we just need one more double crochet in this yo-yo, and we are now at a joining point. A joining point means we need to make a slip stitch to join this new yo-yo to another one. To find where to slip stitch into, what we do is we count stitches behind the hook. That means we just look at the stitches we have just made along here. In our case, we need to count back six double crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and above this sixth crochet, double crochet here, that is where we slip stitch. My suggested way of doing a slip stitch is to just dip the hook back, go into the stitch, and pull everything to the left and finish the slip stitch. And that's drawing that yo-yo in where it needs to go. Continue with two more double crochets. And this puts us at the next joining point. And we find the joining point in just the same way, although it looks a little bit different. Again, we are just looking at the stitches behind the hook. And again, we count back six double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six. And slip stitch into this one here. Finish this yo-yo with two more double crochets. And that brings us to the breaking point. And we continue along the row, just like we've done here. So I've gone ahead and worked the, the first six yo-yos of this foundation row. We've got one more that hangs out here on the end. It is slightly different. Whereas these yo-yos had two joining points, the last one only has one joining point. So again, we started again with the floating double crochet and one double crochet. Count back six. Slip stitch in. And this time we finish this yo-yo with four double crochets. And that is our joined foundation row finished. Time now for the next return row. We're going to work the other half of these yo-yos in the same way with six double crochets in each yo-yo and a slip stitch between each one. Do that for each one and again on the last yo-yo we only need four double crochets there before we go to the next row. 
And that is the return row completed. If we look at the original swatch, we have done these first two rows of yo-yos. We're going to start one more row. Again, we're working half of each yo-yo and joining them in as we go. And since we're kind of widening each edge, there will be one more yo-yo here at the end. So starting eight yo-yos on this row. So just a quick review of that. Start the first yo-yo just with the floating double crochet and the first double crochet and break away to the next one. Start another floating double crochet, another double crochet, count back six double crochets, and slip stitch into the sixth stitch, two more double crochets, we're at the next joining point, so again count back six, and slip stitch into there, two more double crochets, and break away to the next yo-yo. So continue that, and on the eighth one, remember we just have the one joining point and four double crochets at the end. That will be the little yo-yo that will be sitting right there. And here's the joined foundation row finished with eight yo-yos started. And time again for another return row, working six double crochets in each yo-yo and a slip stitch between, working all the way across. This time, this last yo-yo is going to be slightly different. That's because we are going to shift from widening the edge into narrowing the edge. And when we get to the end of this return row, that's where we, we will end up. So we are only going to need two double crochets in the last yo-yo to put us in the right position to start this yo-yo here. I'll go ahead and work that for you now. So here I am on the last yo-yo of the row and just working two double crochets into that one there. And now we're ready for the next join foundation row. And again, because the next yo-yo um, kind of narrows in, we need to start it in a slightly different way than we have the other beginning yo-yos. So for this one, do your floating double crochet. Do the next double crochet. And instead of breaking away here, we go ahead and join it in. We're at a joining point. So count back six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and join that in. Two more double crochets. And that now puts us at the joining point for this yo-yo. Now that's just the first one of the row. That's the only one we work that way. The rest are as we've done before with the floating double crochet, double crochet, slip stitch it in, two double crochets, slip stitch it in, and two double crochets. So that's the first two of this row done. Work one, two, three, four, five more in just the same way as we've just done this one here. 
And that is this joined foundation row finished with our seven yo-yos started. The next return row is the same, doing the six double crochets in the slip stitches. In the last yo-yo, just do two double crochets. There's the return row finished for this row. Now we're going to add one more last row. Again, it starts just like we did for this one with a floating double crochet, one double crochet, and slip stitching straight away in the sixth stitch behind the hook. Two double crochets and break away to do the rest of the yo-yos just like uh, we've done before. One, two, three, four, five. You've got five more to do here. And ready now for the last return row. Work just as we've done before, ending here on the last yo-yo. So that's the last row done and we're almost finished. Remember these yo-yos on the edge here, we have not completed those yet, so it's time to do that now and finish the left edge. And basically all that means is to make sure each yo-yo on this edge ends up with the 12 double crochets. So as we can see, the first one only has six, so put six more double crochets into it. And again, we close it off with a slip stitch between the current yo-yo and the next one. The next one, we need six more double crochets. The next one, we only have four, so put eight in the next one. Six in the next one. And the very last yo-yo, we know it's so because it has the yarn tail. For this one, we only need two more double crochets. And then we slip stitch into the next double crochet to finish this very last yo-yo off. And that's our swatch complete. So by learning how to make this swatch, it prepares you for any other project that might require a 12 stitch yo-yo that's in this sort of arrangement. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.